Hi everyone, as promised, I have loaded up the holiday sled and we are gonna be headed to my mother's house and we're gonna do some fun holiday baking. Now, I'm gonna forewarn you, nothing about what we're making is healthy. This is 100% Christmas holiday treats. I would like for you guys to meet my beautiful mother. This is mom, say hi mom. Hi. And we are in the kitchen today and we are gonna be cooking up some wonderful haystacks, which is actually one of our favorite holiday treats. So, I guess you are going to be the director of the show today, and um, let's go ahead and talk about what we will need to do this project. Well, we right. got to hold it high so everybody can see, so I'll hold it up. Big old bag of chow mein noodles. Wait, okay. hang on, this is the Le Choy chow mein noodles. Yes. Those are the ones I use. And these are the blue package, and this is the 12 ounce size, just like this. And then I use the Nestle house butterscotch morsels butterscotch morsels and this is the 11 ounce size and I also use the semi-sweet morsels and the only reason I get the smallest bag is so that you don't make a million of them when you buy the large bag <laughs> yeah because you eat them all this is the 12 ounce size of this semi-sweet it's very important to get the semi-sweet because you don't want it to be too too sweet because that would ruin the effect that's right apparently you need some sort of device to mash the chow mein noodles. Mashing chow mein noodles with this. It so they can fit into your mouth. Potato masher. I guess any type of spoon. Wooden spoon. And a spatula. Yes, to scrape the bowl. Plenty of napkins, because you'll make a mess. Very messy. And the hardest thing is keeping your fingers out of your mouth. <laughs> and a boiling pot or baking pot just for melting? Big old pot. All right, so let's get started. All right, let's cut open those bags. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set the um, stove just to okay. medium low temperature. And then okay, so set the stove on medium low. Yep, your semi-sweet morsels and dump in your butterscotch morsel. The whole bag, just whole, dump the whole, whole bag. bag into yep. the pot, just like this. Oh my gosh, that looks, I could eat that just like that. Exactly, and I just stir them up. And then I just have to wait for the heat to start to do its thing. Sometimes people make these in a double boiler but I just like to shortcut and use a big old pan, okay? And I just stir it around, check it, make sure it's starting to melt evenly, and I begin to melt it. You can see a little bit at the bottom there, it's already starting to do its melting thing. Oh yeah, you can see it. Mm -hmm. You can. So, and I just go back and check, and I stir that part up, and I mash down the uh, morsels into the melted area to make sure that everything is melting properly. I open up the end of the bag a little bit just so they don't blow out too far, but most of the time I mash up the Le Choy noodles inside the actual bag itself so I don't have such a huge crumbly mess all over my counter. I just have to hold this. Yeah, I'm just mash. Breaking them up. Yes. I feel like I'm shaking the house. You are. <laughs> so I'm just back to the pot and I am stirring on the morsels again to make sure they're not burning into the bottom and they are melting really well. You can really okay. start to see them melting. Looking pretty in there. Mmm, mm. I can smell, like if you guys can smell the smell, it smells amazing. The butterscotch and the chocolate together just smell so good. I'm gonna go take them out of here, put them in the pot in this pan. Is that strong? Yeah, 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 okay. you're good. And that way I can inspect to see how big they are. They're just still a little big. So I'm going to mash them up inside this pan now. This is a great project. You can actually do this by yourself, but it's also a great project for two people as well because you can both have something to do in the kitchen. I love the sound of mashing these. Look at that, it sound like popcorn. Oh, it does. I'm rocking it back and forth. Oh, they're pouring <laughs> out. Ah, you, you have a noodle escapee. Well, when you're in the kitchen, you tear up the kitchen. You gotta keep it going. Keep it going. Just keep stirring it? No, you don't have to. Just, just let it sit a minute. Sit. I like, really want to try this. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm -mm. So good. Mm -hmm. This is like the easiest recipe ever. And it tastes so, so good. It is. Here's what you do keep things healthy. <clears throat> Keep a spoon on the side so you can dip in. Oh yes, Miss Sanitary is saying you must keep a spoon if you're going to be dipping into the product here. That's right, and a new spoon every time you dip. Okay, well, you know, thank you for the disclaimer, Mom. This is us cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they will appreciate it, though. <laughs> Basically, all the lump bumps are completely out of it now. 
Uh, let's turn off the stove, but let it sit on there to keep the... All right, stove off, but let it sit there so we can keep it. And we're going to work fast. We have company coming. This has the butterscotch morsels. Oh, by the way, this is my sister. She stopped by to say hey. Hey, it's Merry Christmas. <laughs> I can't wait to eat these wonderful haystacks. Well, she's helping to stir them up. Yeah. Uh, that's what it is. Once again, the butterscotch morsels and the semi-sweet morsels melted are ready. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is adding all of these chow mein mashed up noodles into that mixture. And that mixture is going to need to be stirred up really good. She says, we have to get started on this before it gets clumpy in the pan. That's right. Okay. Joan, you want to do the honors? Yeah. Pour the whole thing in. There you go. Whole thing means whole thing. Yeah, yeah every <laughs> All right. All right. Now we got to stir this up and coat all the chow mein noodles. So let's coat it. So how come it doesn't look more butterscotchy? Because of the chow mein. Quit asking questions. I'm making this. <laughs> melts into the chocolate. I smell the butterscotch. I know it exists. It's That's there. It. That is it. You gotta love sisters. That's it. We have the sanitary it. spoon. We must have the sanitary spoon. Here it is. Mm, this is really it's good. Coated. Yeah. It's coated. It's really, it's really good. good. Do you coat the pan? Nope. Nope. That's a good question. <laughs> No. Just don't want to miss any steps. Nope, I take two spoons, two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Okay. <laughs> All right, Joan. <laughs> no tablespoons. <laughs> Boy, that's small. That's They're so bite sized. Yeah, they certainly are. Into your mouth because I've had too many. Make a big glob for Joan. Make one big one. Yes, that's the show size glob. There's Jones. What's nice is it makes a really large amount of them, so there's always plenty for leftovers. And you can and put them in nice little tins and, and yeah. trays and wrap them up and give them as gifts. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Or take them as appetizers for a party. Yes. You can put them in those little Chinese cardboard boxes, you know, like a Chinese table. Yeah, like a chow mein noodle box. Oh, there you go. an unhealthy oh. chow mein noodle. <laughs> All right, Very and nice. this, this will take a while and I stick them in the refrigerator and then when you're about to serve them, you want to take them out of the refrigerator, of course, uh, probably about 15, 20 minutes before your guests come. That way they won't be so hard to chew on. But I and like them really in cold. Do you like them super I like cold? Them cold? yeah. Okay, I'll leave them back in the refrigerator. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Maybe about three or four. Okay. <laughs> This is gonna be the very first batch completed of the haystacks and she's actually gonna be moving these to the refrigerator to let them start to set. How many are on there? 35. 35. 35. So there's 35 on this one tray. So you can see just from what we've made, that already is one tray and now we're gonna be moving on to the second tray. All right, we are coming to the end of finishing up, scooping out the second tray, and there was what, 35 on the other one, right? Right, we've, we've got a total of about 75 cookies. That's Dang. awesome, considering we just used one batch, you saw exactly what we used, and that's gonna be plenty enough to go around to friends, to family, for parties, for the office maybe, for whatever you wanna use them for. Primarily eating though. <laughs> we're gonna take this last tray and we're gonna get that in the fridge so it can begin chilling, and of course we are gonna take our and clean the pan for a nice bite. That's it. Ah! <laughs> I'm making a mess. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm, so, so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That spoon's too small. You gotta have one of these. One okay. of those big spoons. One of those. I mean, hello. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you're gonna have to scrub the pan. <laughs> It's all empty. All gone. All gone. All good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to come to our kitchen and cook haystacks with us. Yes. And I just want to thank you, Mom, for showing up in my video. I know everybody will enjoy that. So thank I love you. you very much. And Merry Christmas from Merry our Christmas. kitchen to yours. Yes. Bye. Bye. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, bye. We just have to take a second so you can see the kitchen, how sweet everything is set up. My mother loves decorating for Christmas. You can see she has her little ornaments hanging from the light. Little snowman in the chair. 
and then her country buffet is prepared for the holidays too. You better edit that mess out. You, if that's on YouTube, I'm, no, I'm not gonna put that on YouTube. All right. Chocolate. Far out. I can't even hold the camera still. I'm shaking. I'm laughing so hard. 